Hey guys, what's up? It's Inka, and for the next 24 hours, I will only be eating yellow food. Last time I did only purple foods for 24 hours. It turned out better than expected. So I asked you guys what color you wanted me to do next based on the comments I got. I think it's safe to say that yellow has won by far. So yellow foods it is. Same as last time, I'm gonna try to maintain a very, very balanced diet. We're gonna find food that is naturally yellow. But this time, before we go shopping, I'm actually gonna look through my pantry and my fridge to see if I can find anything that's yellow. And we can start from there. I was thinking that I wouldn't be able to find that many yellow foods, but it turns out pasta's yellow. I have my yellow carrots, <laughs> my yellow baby carrots from last time. Cheese is also yellow. I mean, different shades of yellow, lemons, eggs, and garlic, but since we're preparing for three meals, it's probably a good idea to stop by the grocery store anyways. So let's go shopping. Here we go. Pineapple. Definitely need that. Golden melon. Yellow We have so much fruit. Yellow peppers. Our first vegetable. I found these pumpkin noodles. They look pretty yellow to me. It is time to make some breakfast. I don't have anything in my wardrobe that's yellow, but I have my Gudetama socks on. I also have this little guy sitting in the background. If people don't know who Gudetama is, he is a lazy egg. We'll be eating him today. I also have this on my fridge. I'm clearly just trying to find things that are yellow to fit today's theme. Breakfast time, let's do it. For breakfast, I usually eat either different kinds of fruits or make a smoothie. Sometimes I have toast and eggs. Because we bought a bunch of fruit at the grocery store, I was thinking of just making a platter of mixed yellow fruits and then also making an egg dish to go with it. I would need the golden kiwi, pineapple, mango, golden apple, golden honeydew. I'm just gonna cut these all up and I'll make the eggs on the side. Yellow meaning uh, for some sweetness. What I'm trying to make is tamagoyaki, a Japanese style omelet. I don't have the actual pan, so we're gonna try to do it in this little round pan of mine. I actually also did them in my bento box video. I've just never had to do do them one-handed, so I'm gonna put the camera down and not screw this up. All right, guys, breakfast is ready. This is our yellow breakfast for today. The melon didn't turn out to be that yellow. I think it was just the skin. The kiwi is looking a little bit on the greener side. The eggs turned out pretty good. They were like a pale yellow. They would have probably been more yellow if I only if I used more yolks. Mm -hmm. It's like sweet and savory. I love that. What this has made me realize is that there are so many different kinds of fruits that are yellow. And they're all like really sweet, which is not a bad thing. I had no idea golden apples existed. It's really cool to know that I'm able to sort of eat what I normally have for breakfast anyways, even on this challenge. So I still have a few minutes before work and I was thinking at one of the coffee shops that I normally go to, they have this drink called the turmeric latte that is yellow. So I wanna go check that out before we head to the office. It is. This is the turmeric latte. It is now a pale yellow color. I've never actually had turmeric before, um, so I don't know how this is gonna go. It's like super aromatic. It sort of kicks you it. It's actually not bad. That's my yellow drink. <laughs> All right, now back to work. There's no catered lunch today, so I'm going to be making my own lunch, but I forgot to bring my pasta, so I'm gonna see if I can find pasta here in the tasty space. Boom, I have my eggs, the yellow pepper, I have Parmesan and butter. I was thinking we can make a carbonara of some sort, vegetarian style. In terms of our pasta problem, Alvin donated some homemade pasta. This pasta dough is super yellow. I'm assuming he only put egg yolks in here. That's perfect. I will have to roll it out now and then we can go from there. Have my pasta strip. Now to roll it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Here's a pasta strip. Ta da! Now we're gonna run it on the other side. Here's our fettuccine. This is gonna be the longest lunch break I've ever had. I think this is good enough for one portion, so I'm just gonna leave this here now. Pasta is a okay. We're gonna cut this pepper up 
and make the egg and cheese sauce. Sing this in. Peppers are done. I'm gonna set this aside. These are just the egg yolks, the cheese. We'll just mix this together. Okay. Pasta is done. Put this in here. Just tossing this together. Add a little bit more water. Our little yellow paste. Oh yeah, there we go. Here it is, the carbonara. Normally I would put black pepper on this, but we did say yellow challenge, so yellow pasta it is. Eating time. This smells really good. Oh yeah, it's not bad. This is still really creamy. The yellow pepper kind of pulled through too. In terms of sauce, this was literally just egg yolks and Parmesan. <laughs> Very yellow. If you say that it's good because your pasta dough is good, I'm gonna shut this video down. Mm. Yeah? I like the pepper. Do you know what flavor Froyo we have right now? Is it yellow? Light yellow. <gasps> we have a Froyo machine. Today's flavor is Hawaiian pineapple. Let's see if it really is yellow. I got some Froyo. It really is light yellow. I was thinking I'm gonna cut some bananas up and put that on here too. Pineapple folio with banana. There's so many yellow things. Super refreshing. But yeah, lunch was a great success. And I'm eating There's cookies. That sugar cookie is yellow. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of brown. You can't have any of that. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> yeah. I can have it. No cookies for me. Snack break. And I have my honey butter chips. Also, totally forgot that I had durian chips. I'm gonna be feasting a little bit. My yellow water bottle. These are super good. Kina's is yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. Mm. Right? It's sweet. Oh my god, I forgot how good these were. I know a lot of people don't like durian, but it's actually one of my favorite fruits. It's a big chunk. Please try. It's unlike anything I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> I'm on my way home. Last summer groceries, figured I could make a curry. Hopefully it works out. I'm ready to get some things chopped up. Yellow squash that I just bought, yellow carrots, corn. I was actually thinking I would put some apple in this too, add a little bit of sweetness. And then we of course have the Tobiko. It actually kind of smells like lemon, zesty. I'll just top it off with this. Ginger and garlic, they're both like a pale yellow. Yellow pickled radish, which will also be a side dish. Pumpkin noodles, this would go well with this curry soup, which I made actually yesterday. I would add a little bit more turmeric on it because that's what gives it more of a golden hue. Let's try to put this together. The noodles are about done. That's a solid yellow color. This is looking good. I'm just gonna assemble everything really quickly and then we'll be good for dinner. I hope you guys are ready for this because I really think this is as yellow as it gets. Ready and ta-da! Everything sort of came together. You see the radish, the tobiko, that's the yellow squash, and the carrot, golden apple, corn, mini stir fry. I <laughs> sort of really just like threw everything yellow together. Let's give this a try. Smells like curry. I don't really taste the pumpkin. I wanted to try some of that fish roll. Mm -hmm. I love these. I normally eat these with rice, but they're good like this too. Mm, pretty good. Wow, I'm really hungry. We have the vegetables, we have fruits, we have protein, we have carbs. I think we have a pretty balanced meal here. I'm just finishing up some dishes now. I have a lot of dishes to clean. I'm gonna do some work and then probably time for dessert. I got a little carried away with work. It is now around like 10 p.m. But I made my dessert. Pineapple ice with star fruit. Frozen pineapple, pineapple bits, and ice. Super creamy. Here you see the star fruit. It is shaped like a star. I grew up with these, so it was really cool being able to find them here. This one's kind of sour. It's very, very tart. The last meal of today. Here we go. Prime brain freeze material. I think today went pretty well. There's a lot of yellow food out there. Let me know if you guys want me to do this again. Leave a comment below. And based on what I get, that will be the next color I do. Otherwise, peace and see you guys next time.